We are now at the end of our basic course on condensed matter physics. While a lot of ground has been covered in this course, many important and current topics have also been left out. I list some of these for just information. Disordered and non crystalline solids. This is a major area. For example, Amor amorphous semiconductors and uh, amorphous metals, amorphous superconductors, then liquid crystals and glasses as discussed in lecture 1 liquid crystals also represent a condensed phase in which there is a orientational order and glasses are systems in which there is short range instead of long range order. We have not discussed them meta, uh, much. Glasses includes also metallic glasses. Then you have the area of soft condensed matter. Oh, polymers. Biopolymers, in general viscoelastic materials, and so on. Then we have not discussed electron correlation, strongly correlated electron systems. We mentioned that high TC superconductors are strongly correlated electron systems. Then low dimensional solids, we have thin films for example, which are two dimensional, then wires or linear chains which are one dimensional. In low dimensional solids, particularly the effects of quantum confinement and quantum interference are very important. So, this lead to very interesting effects such as the Aharnoff Bohm effect. Then we also have not mentioned anything about the quantum Hall effect. which is a Nobel Prize topic. There are many more one can go on. However, even though we have not discussed such topics, enough material has now been covered for the reader to study these topics now by himself or herself. It is hoped that he or she will be inspired to do so after listening to these lectures. It only remains for me to place on record my appreciation and gratitude to the wonderful team of youngsters at NPTEL IIT Madras, who supported me without reservation in all the aspects of the preparation of this course and made me feel young in their company. A big thank you, it was fun.